You date a woman, and at first it's all good. However, the tiniest of mistakes is an excuse to dump you. This is why you go within, hit the gym, and do the work to get over her. At some point, she'll probably come back, especially if she's aware that your value has gone up while hers has gone down. Oh my god, why is she calling me, bro? It, the devil's calling me, bro. Like, the devil wants me to answer right now, bro. What's going on? How are you? When are you gonna come over to the Bahamas and bend me over this table and be on kick? I think the answer to that question is, uh, never. Are you dodging me? Yes, I am. Because I'm working on myself, I'm becoming a better version of myself, and now all of a sudden you want to come back and swoop in. No. We haven't been just friends forever. Yeah, we're buddies. Now look, buddy, you are my friend, I got you, uh, but that is all we will ever be. Wow, I can't believe I just got fucking rejected. This is crazy. You did. Alrighty, get off my phone now. Goodbye. <laughs> Can modern women get more selfish than this? Not at all. Well, maybe during a divorce, but that's a whole nother story. Society has allowed women to dump men once they see the smallest sign of weakness. Trying to work things out and supporting faithful men? No, these hoes ain't loyal and will never do any of that. Social media is a kind of double-edged sword because it might make you want to see what your ex is up to, which is a very bad move, or it can help you confirm that you need to stick to your current lifestyle. Once you get over a cheating ex, she'll probably come back to you and test you. She'll use all sorts of emotional and manipulation tactics to make you fall. However, Aiden Ross has rejected her in front of thousands of viewers. I can't believe I just got fucking rejected, she said. Well, bitch, somebody gotta do that so you learn your lesson. As Aiden said, the devil was calling. No better description for a woman who dumped you but calls you out of nowhere. Let's take a look at the comments. If she doesn't want you at your lowest, she doesn't deserve you at your best. Y'all replies got me thinking. I meant it in the way, if she doesn't want you on your bulk, she doesn't deserve you on your cut. Sorry for misunderstandings. A woman should support you at all times, but if she decides to dump you when you face difficulties, she doesn't deserve your attention. She can be a bad woman and use stupid manipulation tactics with other men. This is literally amazing and soothing to the soul. Go ahead, Aiden, from a boy to a man. That's the process you probably went through after a breakup. Once you get your life together, prepare because all the hoes that dumped you can come back and take you back to hell. Rejecting women is the first sign of being mature. Men are in general so needy and sexless that they accept breadcrumbs. However, when you know what you want, you can easily reject a woman no matter how hot she is. If she's been disloyal or has a certain past, you choose not to take her. Do modern women realize the importance of boundaries? Not at all. They love their single ladies lifestyle but still want a man who is better than them in every metric and they effectively get guys all the time. But once a man is strict, her entire system will have to change. I'm not telling you to control your girl, but what I am saying is to control your own life. So if your girl says, I want to do X, Y, Z, and you don't like that, you tell her simply, fantastic, you can go. But if you go understand that you are effectively single once you walk out this house mm -hmm. and she's got a choice to make, but you're not going to sit there and double dip and be act like you're single while I sit at home like a fucking retard. That's not the way this goes. So that's how that's my thing is I have strict boundaries with women. And you have to have these boundaries so that she respects you. The problem is that not enough women respect their men. And once a woman doesn't respect their man, the love is gone. That's, That's why I was telling you before, respect is a necessary component to get love from a woman. Because as a man, you're looked at as a leader. That's why I don't listen to you guys with this 50-50 bullshit. Yeah. Because women don't want a man that's their height, makes their same money, and their strength. They want a man that's taller than them, makes more money than them, more confident, more ambitious. So by default, we are not equal. So and you expect me to sit there and consider you an equal 50-50 when I have to bust my ass to attract you in the first place? Fuck out of here. That's not the way the world works. Men lead, woman follows. Been that way since the beginning of time. When a man enforces boundaries in a respectful manner, he's got his stuff together. A decent man who knows what he wants will tell a woman he's hanging out with, it's okay if you want to go to the club, but I won't take you seriously. Or, I don't like that you dress provocatively. Modern women love getting attention even if they're hanging out with a man. As a man, you cannot control things like the court system, modern women's tendencies, etc. But you can control your own choices, including the woman you date and the boundaries you've got. 
If you don't like that she wears certain clothes, you're free to let her know just like she feels free to exercise her options if you fail to be the best man she can get. And the last phrase is a huge reality check. The man leads and the woman follows. When it's the other way around, problems never stop coming. When the man makes concessions, he might think she's happy, but in reality, she's losing respect. Thus, you've got two options. Either you become a yes man, aka a beta, and she dumps you, or you enforce boundaries that benefit both you and your relationship. Spoiler, many women will walk away if you choose to set boundaries, but it's better to be lonely than with a woman who will choose her IG page over you. Let's take a look at the comments. I 100% agree with Myron on this. If the man is doing his part and you think you can just walk all over him and treat him like crap, then you can't whinge when he says goodbye. You bring flowers, pay for dates, and even drive her back home, but still she might choose to go to the club instead of staying modest. If she's with you but wants to act like she's single, let her go after letting her know you're not taking her seriously anymore. When I had to bust my ass to attract you in the first place? Epic. After working a lot to even be considered in the dating scene, you have the right to ask for certain traits and something in return for the value you bring to the table. Therefore, if you don't want your woman to hit the club, you just let her know that. By the way, can't her girls' nights out be something modest like watching a movie in one of the girls' houses? I don't know. Why is it that this obvious argument has not been televised and popularized in the last 40 years? Damn shame. Why? Because society wants weak men who submit to women instead of fair relationships. The female liberation movement has fooled women into thinking that a boyfriend who doesn't want his girlfriend to go to the club is a bad person. In contrast, a woman's actions are always permissible. When a man doesn't want any of this crap, he uses a take it or leave it approach so that he only stays with a good woman. Look at the following contradiction. A woman can compare her new man with the former ones she's dated before, and the more bodies she racks up, the harder it will be for the next man to have a healthy relationship with her. Plus, let's not forget that women really take time to heal from past relationships. However, when a man compares a woman with more modest women of different societies, it's all unfair. Take a look. You can't take women from two different societies and compare. Look at the divorce rate. That's not our fault. Who's supposed to leave the house? You're the one that initiates the divorces. Okay. Why do y'all not lead us to be better than and not divorce? You don't listen. Exactly. You, you okay, argue. So listen you're not even listening uh, right now. I'm, no. I'm listening. I believe what All I'm right. saying. Well, then, if you're going to listen, start with shutting up. Okay. When you date a Japanese girl <laughs> and she loves you, you know the most common thing she says? She says, if you're happy, I'm happy. <gasps> Seriously, do you see how she mocked it? That was true femininity, but yeah. American women think that that's just some kind of a joke or and, that it's a caricature. And you said that women in Japan, like, those are the only true princesses that you've seen. He you don't act like that. a princess. How? You've seen me for, like, what? You act like a dairy queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen is a great nickname for that chick because she's got loads of Chad and Tyrone milk, no commitment, and aged like milk just like the vast majority of women. It's insane how stupid modern women can be. Even though men say what they want and really mean what they say, that girl mocks Japanese women who do their job. If a woman is submissive with you and is happy if you're happy, you've just found a rare species. In contrast, modern women are know-it-all and arrogant, so they go through life thinking that they've got the solution to every single problem, including the astronomical divorce rate in America. Well, 70 to 80% of women initiate divorces, so no wonder why men don't want to commit, let alone lose their wealth after a divorce. Plus, the headaches of a combative woman who doesn't listen is a good reason not to marry American women. And finally, here's the root problem. As he said, that chick doesn't listen. It's insanely easy to solve many problems just by listening and not acting like you know everything. That's why men humble themselves and don't act like they're the boss when in reality, they're losers. Modern women though, cut off every time they disagree and never focus on solving problems. Let's take a look at the comments. I'd pick a foreign woman any day over an American woman. 
Although the grass might not be greener on the other side, the stats don't lie and in general, women from more conservative countries act feminine, respect their husbands and think of the common good of the family instead of their own selfish interests. A good rule of thumb, though, is to keep your eyes open at all times. As a Japanese man, I can say this, if I have to compare Japanese girls and American girls in general, there is one absolute that exists in Japanese girls and not in American girls. Humbleness. American women and women from Western countries in general cannot go two seconds without speaking. Most of the time, it's only to disagree and talk about feelings. Facts, stats, and data don't matter. Plus, instead of listening twice as much as they speak, they do the opposite. Here in Japan, you just can't say I love you out of nowhere because we believe action is more believable than words. Plus, what she just did is offensive. That's a good reminder. A girl might love bomb you, but if she cuts you off, calls you names and disrespects you, words don't mean nothing. As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content. Like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.